I, I love that this podcast, this connection that we just made is happening during this time of such uncertainty because it is something that you talk quite a bit about and the idea of this courage muscle. So for those people who haven't heard you talk about the courage muscle, can you share a little bit more about your philosophy with that? Yes, you know, especially in a shifting time. I mean, this is the craziest time in the world. I just want to share with you, if you're feeling a little uncertain, a little scared, not sure what's next, congratulations for being human. Um, you know, I, I've been an entrepreneur for over 30 years. I've been through four shifts in the economy. I was in business already for the dot-com bust in the late 80s. 9-11 uh, shifted our world overnight. 2007, you know, the Great Recession, as they call it. You know, I've been through all of those, but never has there been a time where all of it's been stacked up, maybe since a world war, where we're not only worried about our finances, we're worried about an illness that could potentially hurt our family or friends. We're told to socially disconnect when someone is, uh, we're social creatures. We need to be social. Um, so when you stack all of those things on top of each other, it can cause uncertainty. It could cause, you know, emotions that you're not used to. So that's normal and that's okay. But what's not okay is sitting around waiting for someone else to fix this for you. Sitting around waiting for your career to open back up, your job to open back up, someone else to give us stimulus money or someone else tell us when we can go to work or when we can feel better or when the, this, this virus is better. We, if you're allowing the outside world to control your emotions or the decisions you make, that's when we feel uncertain on a whole nother level. When we realize that there's no Prince Charming coming to save any of us, that the only person that could fix this is us. When we know that our success or our failure is reliant on the decisions we make now, the seeds that we plant now that we can harvest later, it gives you this sense of freedom. Like I'm not waiting for anybody anymore. I'm not waiting for permission. I'm not waiting for that internal voice to say, you're not, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're not an imposter anymore. You can do this. Like, don't wait for the, the confidence. Don't wait for permission. Work on the courage to just move forward. 